people have caught a thief. Is it okay for that mob justice to take place if the law enforcement uh, are not around? You know, as a mob justice a situation is actually very challenging. If I am in that situation, it's not right for mob justice to take place or to, to keep going while I'm there unless until the authority comes in. The first question was actually very challenging. If you are faced with a situation whereby you are witnessing uh, mob justice, what would you do? I think as a leader you have some identifications. Mm -hmm. So I'll just tell them to stop if they want. I'll remove my identity and show them. Then after that, I'll call the police immediately. That's true, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, actually, we were in a church, Arambe, and uh, they asked us to give our contributions first. Yeah. So I gave everything I had. <laughs> And uh, then, uh, you know, this this uh, way of collecting more money. So this uh, guy came up and he gave his own money and he said, these 200 is for everybody who's wearing brown shoes to pay 100 shillings. Eh? And I remember I had given everything I had and I didn't have any money and they came straight to me because I was wearing brown shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine how that, uh, I'm a, uh, it was embarrassing. Black Actually, I had brown shoes yesterday, uh, but uh, I didn't expect No, it's because of the trousers that I'm wearing the oh. black shoes. <laughs> of course, I expect to go to the next stage, and uh, I'm crossing my fingers, but I'm confident. Actually, if, the, if there was such a thing as politics 101, mm. that is what every politician learns, is that no matter the question you ask, yeah. you already know the answer. Mm. You make it fit. Mm. <laughs> so mm. there was definitely some of that. So my aim is now the first three people. So I have a lot of confidence that uh, I'll be among the first top three. We hope you will, Mr. Wilberforce Ndura, and good luck to you. <laughs> Asafi. Ukwasalama sa? Kabisa. Kabisa. Kabisa kabisa. Kabisa kabisa. Kabisa kabisa. Ukwotari eh? Kabisa. Sasa. Ukifikiria uongozi, ina maana gani kwako? Ok, uongozi kwangu mimi nachukulia ni kama... Sometimes there are questions that uh, people just want to get your opinion, not that it's, it's a right answer or a wrong answer, but the opinion and the way you express yourself. So I can just say it was challenging but they were not tough mfanyikazi wa wenzako yani a servant a servant to the people you are going to represent the interest of the people lakini wacha nikuulize yes si kiongozi ni mtu ambaye pengine hakuna gari kubwa au pengine ni mtu ambaye ni popular sana na anasaidia watu na pesa sawa hiyo ni dhana ambayo iko kwa baadhi ya wananchi ambao tunahitaji kuelemisha na kuambia kwamba uongozi sio tu lazima uwe na gari kubwa ama uwe na elimu ya hali ya juu ama kazi yako ni kutembea na kugawa pesa hapana uongozi ni jukumu la kujitolea na kuweza kuwakilisha watu wako wanyonge matajiri wote kabila yote kwa ujumla the gentleman is in need and he has a hard time to think about it think outside the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we had a lively chat. They asked me some few questions here and there that uh, were related uh, to the audition of today. Your greatest fear is dying before seeing Kenya in a category of developed countries. Hey, Mkubo. You need to overwhelm me. You need to be able to do this. How do you want to lead? Because of me, I know that I know that miaka 50 tangu tupate uhuru mm. tumepiga hatua chache sana mm. ingefaa kufikia sasa mm. tu katika kiwango kingine gani yeah. yani yeah. kiwango tofauti ambayo si ya sasa kama kama vile tungekuwa na hakikisho ma highway turukana ama bila shaka kwa mfano tangu mkoloni aondoke mm. ile reli aliunda ationgeza hata nchi moja Mm -hmm. The judges they are friendly and I expect something good from them. He also has a, a very compelling presence. 
and very articulate in both languages. I delivered my best and uh, I expect uh, something good. I expect some good result. I'm hopeful I might be among the best. I would like to see more of him and like to see and I think Ata as for Faul. Tulukan is in a is in a good place. He's going some he's going places. Yeah. Watch what happens when the judges themselves are put to the test. Salam. Do you know where you are? Uh, there was a question I didn't expect, uh, but uh, it was thrown to me randomly. Some person has been uh, suspected of committing a crime. Yes. And mob justice is about to take place. Yes. As a leader, what would you do? First thing, we have the constitution that uh, prevents uh, people from killing each other. And uh, in a Bill of Rights, uh, people are not expected to kill or just to... 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 I think uh, it's okay when uh, <laughs> there is recurrent uh, crime. So if there is recurrent crime, you feel that it is... Uh... Uh, acceptable. When a crime is recurrent, one person is known to be committing this crime over and over again. You know, sometimes people just act to eliminate that kind of a person so that that crime cannot uh, recur again. To beat someone uh, in the street just because he has done a, a certain deed of crime, it is wrong to kill. And before God, it is very, very wrong to kill. So as a leader, I will stand strong with courage and try to prevent these people from uh, uh, doing this uh, barbaric way of uh, expressing justice. Now, if in the course of doing this, uh, it appears that the crowd turns on you, would you be deterred in any way? If I am the leader in that place now, I will stand strong with my values and uh, I will prevent these people from kicking this man who is helplessly dying there. <clears throat> I love poetry, and I do poetry. So I was told to, to, do, to recite uh, a freestyle uh, poetry that I, I have done. And I was, for a moment I was black, uh, I didn't know what to say, uh, but uh, since I'm a good poet, I, I took my chances. And, uh, In the land where man came from, we the people of oil, we, the people of strength, we, the people of trust, we, the people who, have, the people who have been disregarded by other people, we, the people who have trust in all other Kenyans, we shall still remain strong and prevent the country from trampling down. <laughs> Finally, we've come to the end of uh, a very long day. With the first round of auditions over, the judges announced the lucky 12 from the Kitale auditions who were proceeding to the second round of auditions. Personally, I think I'm more inspired as a Kenyan. And that's exactly what this, is campaign, this campaign is all about. The next day, everybody gets ready to hear the final announcement from the judges on who has made it. Without any further ado, I shall announce uh, the winners from each uh, of the counties, beginning with Elgeo Maraquet. Patrick Cheriot, I think we can give him a round. <laughs> Busia, from Busia, Silas Odungu. <laughs> um, 
Bungoma, where is Bungoma County seat? From Bungoma, Sophia Wanyama. Vihiga County, Wilberforce in Biru. Wasingishu, from Wasingishu, Helen Muthoni. Turkana, from Turkana, James Namuyon. Zoya, Elizabeth Shepkwame. From Nandi, Hadlin Lusui. West Pokot. From West Pokot. Bernard Wendo. Siaya. From Siaya, Joram Omondi. Last but by no means least, Kakamega. From Kakamega, Nora Nakabati. Congratulations uh, again to those 11 individuals. You have been an invaluable part of this process. Asante Nisana. Then it's time for goodbyes for those leaving and gearing up for those who remain. Uh, by now I'm feeling well and actually the process was good and uh, by now we have been told a winner and uh, from my county I'm actually very happy because my, one of my partner was selected to proceed on with the audition. I come to jail but sick sick to war. Next time I'll apply sit and soap realized through this Wongo's initiative that surely there is a, an urge for good leadership for Kenyans and though I might have not come up the best but I know I'm the best just that the competition everyone was the best so wherever I'm going I'm going to, 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 to pass the good message of good governance and I will believe and I will continue supporting the Wongo's initiative Although it's the first time, and I've gained a lot. As the rest of the contestants leave, the remaining 12 face the judges for the next process of the auditions. First of all, a very hearty congratulations to each and every one of you. Uh, to be chosen as the last the last 11 contestants here in the Kitale auditions. By the time we leave this place, we will be down to three. So the stakes in the competition are rising, and so we look forward to uh, this next session. To further reduce the remaining 12 to three, the contestants are given a task. If there is anything, the poem has affected. So she's there to direct the people. He's arrogant, he's proud. What, what makes you think he won't sit back and say, after all? This person is ready to start the reconstruction work. Where did you get that? Because Kando, Kando. it takes two to tango. Are we okay? And whoever is having the pepper, whoever is having the pepper must be ready to guide us through.
Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. There being a leadership vacuum, Joram appointed himself chairman and took the bull by the horns. There are brief personal profiles from damaged government archives. There are 20 survivors in a devastated area and the contestants read the profiles of these survivors. Each survivor has a strength and a weakness and the task of the contestants is to choose only 10 survivors that can be used to rebuild the community. Contestants have only one hour to come to a consensus. The judges will be looking out for decision-making, leadership, communication skills, teamwork and ability to accommodate another person's opinion. Before things could proceed, someone decided the task called for a higher kind of intervention, divine intervention to be precise. Why did to put a word of prayer? Because it was God's mercy. Thank you. Yeah. Let us pray. Baba tunakushukuru Jehovah kwa sababu ya siku ya leo umeweza kutuwezesha tukakutanika mahali hapa kama viongozi. I think we should start with the criteria mm -hmm. that we're going, we're going to use to strike out or select. This is reconstruction. And in reconstruction, we forget about the past. As you can see the list, uh, most of the people there, they had problems in the past. So sometimes we may overlook the past and look at the present. Because the past cannot control the future. Jambo ambalo ningependa kusema ni kwamba tukienda one by one. Yes. It won't give us the right direction. Lakini twende na mtu achague moja alafu aseme reason. Mhm. Eh hivyo hivyo maana we are about 10, 11. Yeah. Alafu tujadiliane kuhusu hiyo. So let us get one to to pick. So my number one is a farmer. Yes, and the, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting we should have a farm, this is a completely destroyed uh, community, and we want to start restructuring. Restructuring this community, these people, you'll, they'll need food. To ungeanza na kutengeneza mahali pa mchungaji, kwa sababu katika hali ya shida kama hizo, wachungaji wanatakikana kwa sababu wamesomea mambo ya counseling and guiding, waneza kusaidia. I support that. Okay. The community still needs some spiritual healing. Okay. At least if that preacher is old that for five years yeah. and he can move the crowd, I think it's safer that way. Okay, at that point, can we get what uh, it says about the particular character he's saying from the paper? A 45 year old preacher who has a terminal illness, but otherwise, move the crowds. We are not discussing anything exhaustively. We should have put the pros and cons first. Yeah. That's how we'll move fast. Otherwise, time is not on our side. And then if you take the chance to talk, please talk shortly, because we don't have that much time. Just give the point and then we move very fast. Are we OK? And whoever is having the paper, whoever is having the paper must be ready to guide us through. I think we need that nuclear scientist because a nuclear deals with a bomb. So, if there is anything, the poor must affect it. So she's there to direct the people. He's arrogant, he's proud. What, what makes you think he won't sit back and say, after all? The nitty gritties of the effects of bomb, it may not work for us so much. Yeah. His, his uh, participation in this process would be very, very important mm. uh, because of the kind of accident that this community has faced. Yes. Yeah. Are we okay? Yeah. Pia Tena, mm -hmm. nuclear, siati the bomb, mm. and nuclear energy. Eh? Yeah. Energy, energy, katika yo community and bottom line. How many are of the opinion that um, we include the nuclear uh, the nuclear expert? Have your hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, of the contrary opinion? Thank you. you don't need to count this way okay. for it. Good. So put that. We go to the next. The former CEO mm. who is currently insane but once in a while sobers up especially when he's joking. Mm. When he's jokingly reminded about his past status in the society. Sometimes he's violent. I support him. Support. The, the, yeah, the reason, just one reason is because eh, we need a manager. Okay. We need a manager. Fantastic. Yes. Is a uh, planned a successful coup d'etat? So, here you go, sir. He has withdrawn. That means from, from a planned coup d'etat. This means that this person is ready to start the reconstruction work. He's, he keeps to himself. Psychologically withdrawn. He yes. has no business yes. with anybody. Yeah. He has no position. You understand English? 
It's okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's yeah. <laughs> we include it or we don't that's include it. That will not be of any yeah. benefit. Yeah. For now, All right. For now yeah. we don't need him. Yeah. The next I still think we need this old woman yes. as yeah. much as everybody else. Yes. Number one, there's something we call indigenous knowledge. Mm -hmm. This lady has got so much to pass on. No, she is actually she's 79. Of, of, of all this, she's the most aged. Yeah. She has just opened my mind. Eh? I think we need also guidance. Yes. And guidance, we need this woman. Yes. yes. 26 year old, uh, well carved body features, has been caught five times in Mpango Yakando relationship fracas, recently excommunicated from church. And feathers started to get ruffled. You given it. I am of the contrary opinion. Yes. That uh, although this lady is young and beautiful, mm. she's not faithful to her marriage. Mm. That means if she's not faithful to the family, mm. she cannot also be faithful to the community. Where did you get that? Because Mpango, it takes two to tango. Mm. We are just being told about her alone, so let's not crucify one yeah. person. Maybe the other part let's not, head not one, one, one. You don't know even, maybe we have even picked the partner who she messes up with already. Mm. Do we include or we don't include? We include. We include. We include. Yes. All right. We'll the, last. the last one. A 14-year-old girl who is retarded but otherwise physically fit. Okay, number five. Number five, please. Number five, please. Number five, please. support of the support of the support we economists. Please economists. stop what you're doing now. Having ran out of time, the contestants must now face the judges. The issue of the team leader comes up and things get interesting. I didn't actually hear you decide if, uh, if you had made a decision collectively as to who would present to us but we'd like to take absolutely no more than 10 minutes to give you an opportunity to present to us who the 10 people you chose were and why you chose them. So who, who will present that list? We had our secretary we decided that she was going to present. Okay, so you did collectively make that decision. Okay. Did you make that decision within the one hour or once you had come back over here? Within the one hour. Maoni yangu ni kwamba hatukuwa tumefikia jambo hilo la kuamua yule ambaye atapresent kwa sababu ni kana kwamba Masai litupata kabla tuamue. Um typically we are Kenyans. <laughs> but we hope we not maintain that. The judges go off to deliberate. They can only choose three from the twelve. Who will the lucky three be? Questions that arose uh, in terms of the, the content. Uh, and the first is there was a, a discussion about uh, the nuclear scientist and a nuclear bomb. I didn't see anything about a nuclear bomb. No, we are a group on a nuclear family. <laughs> there was the issue of disease with all these dead bodies everywhere mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, you know people who are lying wounded I don't know if they were concerning themselves with what will happen with these uh, wounded but I think that's something we can ask them because me I think um, finally um, I, I, I got to see how, uh, how even people from outside the country how they see us they focus on pengina likua they focus on what might be might be not what it is I, I I saw a lot of anxiety to start because that opening uh, portion here it was totally cut out they were just they, they were not widening their scope mm. they were kind of narrowing it down they lost at a point there was a uh, one person who said let us sit the rationale mm -hmm. what do we want uh, but that, that thing was muffled I, I it was muffled in fact they would not have taken so long to debate whether they need uh, a 14 year old who will finally give birth if they had set the criteria before, before mm -hmm. because they had an opportunity i agree, I agree with you there because 
uh, and, and uh, I, I think I know who, who did that, who came, yeah. who came, who came yeah. up with that, with, with that suggestion. Yeah. And for me, that was the ideal the way of doing it. So, I just want to know that. As a leader, you surely need to have every part of your body res responsive and receptive and reacting to the situation that you have. You brought in or you brought on board some exclusive tendencies. Yeah, there was no real leader. Ali Chaguliwa. Nijora Malikam. Wewe mwa mnajua nini? Mnajua? Akaanza kuongea hapo we we piga magoti soro. Unaona? As long as mtu anapiga kelele zaidi ya mwingine, yeye ndio leader. As long as yeye ndiye amevaa suti poa na kakala kakitukana na manyoya hapa, unaona? Yeye ndiye anaka leader. Am am step up. Mka take your position. Unaona? Ni Joram ndiye alikuwa na bonga. For the three names that you will soon hear are those who will be the television contestants within the Uongozi campaign. Uh, so, I would be the first uh, contestant. Number 147, James Leperoc Namuyon. Makofi Tapadari. Number 170, Joram. Naikali Omondi. Let me add that these are in no particular order. The third from the Kitale auditions is Hardlin Lusui. Congratulations. To the three. I am happy. I'm convinced now more than ever that I'm a leader. Na as I say, I'm I've been exposed. 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 I've been I've come to realize there is something called leadership and the other one called dealership. So I think initially I was a dealer. This time round, I'm a leader. I'm a leader. Katika ile hali ambaye niliweza kufaulu kufika katika hiyo stage Ninaona mimi ninaweza And let's get a conclusive comment from um, our judges My experience ilikuwa more than what I expected Because uh, nilikuwa nathantun one of those things that uh, That was say udu uh, Unasikia soa kiongea mo balafu na ambia do Mingino na mimi next Najua, But kumbe nilikuwa more informative on my side It's been particularly refreshing for for me to be able to see that uh, the theory that we came into this process with uh, is actually correct which is simply that uh, you know there are leaders out there who are worthy of of national attention after an extensive auditioning process that saw over 12,000 applicants supply 240 shortlisted and auditions held in four regions across the country, starting with Oloitoktok to Garissa, then Kisi, and finally Kitale, we finally have our 16 finalists who will compete at the national finals for the ultimate position of the Kiongozi. Our 16 finalists are from Oloitoktok, Kazia Khadija from Taita Taveta County, Solomon Mudera from Mombasa County, Felipe Saja from Machakos County, and Herman Muraguri from Nairobi County. From Garissa, Enoch Miner from Garissa County, Zainab Wario from Isiolo County, Elizabeth Duya from Lamu County, and Aidan Muhammad from Mandera. From Kisi, Jennifer Robi Chacha from Migori County, Evelyn Gakinya from Laikipia County, Rose Nyasuguta from Kisi County, and Raymond Cheng from Kisumu County. And from Kitale, James Leperok from Turkana County, Joram Omondi from Siaya County, and Hadlin Lusui from Nandi County. And who will be the 16th contestant? Find out next week on Uongozi as the most challenging leadership competition takes off as our final 16 battle it out to become the Kiongozi. Don't miss the reality of what it means to become the Kiongozi that Kenya deserves.
only on Wongozi.